Hey, Crump. <sighs> what you doing? Uh, I'm looking for a black hole. I heard there's a black hole out there that sucks everything into it. Well, yeah, there are lots of black holes. Not anywhere close to us, though. But yes, lots of black holes throughout the universe. I'm going to be ready for that black hole. I'll tell it to go away. I can scare it away because I'm a monster. Cromp, do you even know what a black hole is? Yes, but I'm going to let you tell me anyways. <sighs> okay, a black hole is a place in space that is very dense. It has immense gravity. Nothing can escape, not even light. That's why it's called a black hole. Well, I'm going to stay here and keep watch. <laughs> we can't see a black hole, Kromp. It's invisible. Wait a minute. They're invisible? Then how do we know they're even out there? We have giant telescopes and special tools out in space to help us find black holes. What good are telescopes if you can't see a black hole, huh? We look at what the black hole does to things around it. The gravity of the black hole pulls on everything around it, so we look at things close to black holes and see how they move around. Oh, you mean things look different around a black hole. Exactly. That sounds uh, indirect at best. I think it's incredibly clever. Show a little appreciation for the science crop. No, you're right, Froggy Woggy. Good job, astronomer scientist people. Good job. Yeah, it's amazing that they figured all this out about something you can't even see. So, Froggy, where do uh, black holes come from? Sometimes when a really big star dies, it forms a black hole. Stars die? I thought stars were big burning balls of gas. I didn't know they were alive. How sad. It's just a figure of speech, Crump. I'm talking about when stars run out of energy. The matter that's left behind collapses on itself, and there's a giant explosion. Ooh, exciting! Everything left over from the explosion collapses into the tiniest point. It's infinitely small. That's pretty small. We call that tiny point with a lot of mass squeezed into it a singularity. It has enormous gravity that can pull things in towards it. Wait a minute. You keep talking about gravity. What does gravity have to do with black holes? I thought we had gravity here on Earth. We do have gravity here on Earth. Everything that has mass has gravity. The Earth, the moon, the sun, even you, Crom. I do? Just a little, because you're not very big. I'm bigger than you, Froggy Wuggy. Yeah, that means you have a little more gravity than me. Everything that has mass warps the fabric of space a little bit. The more mass, the more warping. So the moon orbits the Earth because of gravity. Because the Earth is massive, and so it pulls the moon towards it. Yeah, same with how the Earth orbits the sun. The sun is so massive, it warps the fabric of space. So its gravity naturally pulls on the Earth and all the planets. Okay, that makes sense. But I thought you said the black hole was tiny. The very center of the black hole is infinitely small, but it has a ton of mass. Imagine something with way more mass than our sun squeezed into the tiniest point. That's a lot of gravity. If anything gets close, it's gonna get sucked in. How close can you get? We draw an imaginary circle, well, really a spear, around a black hole. Inside that spear, the gravity is too strong for anything to escape, even light. We call this the event horizon. Well, how big is that circle? I mean, sphere. That seems like pretty important safety information there, Froggy Woggy. The more mass a black hole has, the bigger the danger zone. Some black holes are small. Some are huge. There's one kind of black hole called a stellar black hole that has the mass of around a dozen of our sun. Oh, that's pretty big. That's nothing. Have you heard of a supermassive black hole? No, what's that? Like two dozen suns? A supermassive black hole has the mass of millions and millions of our suns. Scientists think there's a supermassive black hole in the middle of every galaxy. We call the supermassive black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy Sagittarius A. The Milky Way galaxy? But that's our galaxy. Yeah, so? So 
Are we in danger? No, Crump. We're really far away from the center of our galaxy. Anyways, nothing outside of the event horizon is going to get pulled into the black hole. See, here's a picture of the galaxy and everything is still there. I don't see any black hole. No, remember Crump? We're not going to actually see the black hole, but we can see how things behave around it. But really, Froggy, tell me, what do black holes look like? Ugh, we can't take a regular picture because light doesn't escape a black hole. When we look at something or take a picture of something, we're looking at the light that bounces off of that thing. Well, light doesn't bounce off of a black hole. It gets sucked up by the black hole. That's it. I'm just going to hold my breath until you tell me what a black hole looks like. Crump! Okay, listen! There is this huge telescope called the Event Horizon Telescope that's specially made for looking at black holes. Whoa! Now you're tucky! It's actually made up of lots of parts all over the world. Put together, it's like a telescope the size of Earth. It's a radio telescope. Like a radio that plays all the top hits? Well, it detects radio waves instead of light. You're losing me, Froggy. There are different kinds of radiation, Crump. Energy that radiates off of things. There's visible light rays that we can see with our eyes, but there's also X-rays, gamma rays, infrared rays, radio wave. Oh, yeah! I've heard of uh, some of those. So, the Event Horizon Telescope is listening to the black holes? Yeah, sort of. Astronomers use the radio signals to paint a picture of what's going on around the black hole. But what about the black hole itself? The black hole doesn't have a surface. It's just a region in space, and we can't see past its boundary. Okay, Crump, are you ready? Here's the first picture from the Event Horizon Telescope. So what am I looking at here? There's a disk of gas and dust around a black hole. We call that an accretion disk. It spirals around and around the black hole, and because of friction, it heats up and glows. It gives off various kinds of radiation, and that's what the telescopes are picking up. Is the black part the black hole? Well, it's sort of like the shadow of the black hole. This is what happens because light is bent by the enormous gravity of the black hole. It doesn't look very big. It's 6.5 billion times the size of our sun. And not bad, not bad. So where is this black hole? This is the black hole at the center of the huge galaxy called Messier 87. It's 55 million light years away. So uh, we're pretty safe, huh? Yeah, that's pretty far away. But what about our supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy? Mm, I think it probably looks a lot like this, Crump. Okay, Froggy Woggy, I'll stay here and keep watch. What? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, kids. Want more smart, fun videos about astronomy? Pick one now! And don't forget to subscribe to Socratica Kids. You're not going to see it. You see it. No. Did you, <laughs> did you not listen to anything I just said? What'd you say?